The origin of human consciousness has been a subject of fascination and speculation for centuries, while the development of language and the use of tools have been proposed as key factors, there is another, more controversial theory that suggests psychedelics played a pivotal role in the evolution of human consciousness. This theory, known as the stoned ape theory, asserts that the consumption of psychedelics, particularly psilocybin mushrooms, by our early ancestors, led to a profound cognitive leap forward. In this article, we will delve into the stoned ape theory and explore the role of psychedelics in shaping human consciousness. The stoned ape theory was first proposed by Terence McKenna, an American ethnobotanist and advocate for the use of psychedelics. McKenna's hypothesis, outlined in his book Food of the Gods, The Search for the Original Tree of Knowledge, suggests that the consumption of psilocybin mushrooms by early human ancestors catalyzed a profound expansion of consciousness and led to the development of advanced cognitive abilities. According to McKenna, the key ingredient in this cognitive leap was psilocybin, a psychoactive compound found in certain species of mushrooms, particularly psilocybe cubensis. McKenna proposes that early humans, while foraging for food, encountered these mushrooms growing on the dung of grazing animals. Intrigued by their appearance, they consumed them, unknowingly unlocking a new realm of perception and cognition. McKenna suggests that the consumption of psilocybin mushrooms had a range of effects on early humans. At lower doses, psilocybin enhanced visual acuity and edge detection, leading to improved hunting skills and increased food supply. Higher doses of psilocybin were believed to boost libido, energy, and social bonding, resulting in greater reproductive success and genetic diversity. McKenna also proposed that psilocybin intake triggered activity in the language-forming regions of the brain, leading to the development of language in the emergence of art, religion, and philosophy. While the stoned ape theory offers an intriguing perspective on the origins of human consciousness, it has faced criticism from the scientific community. Critics argue that McKenna's hypothesis is speculative and lacks empirical evidence. They contend that the theory relies on assumptions and misinterpretations of scientific studies. Additionally, the theory's emphasis on psilocybin mushrooms as the primary catalyst for cognitive evolution overlooks other potential factors that may have influenced human consciousness. To evaluate the plausibility of the stoned ape theory, it is essential to examine the relationship between psychedelics and perception. Research has shown that psychedelics, such as psilocybin, can induce profound changes in sensory perception, leading to altered states of consciousness. These altered states often involve enhanced sensory perception, synesthesia, and a heightened sense of interconnectedness. Such experiences may have influenced early humans' perception of their environment and contributed to the development of symbolic thinking and abstract reasoning. Another area of interest is the impact of psychedelics on neuroplasticity. Studies have demonstrated that psychedelics can promote neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to form new connections and reorganize neural pathways. This plasticity may have facilitated the development of new cognitive abilities in early humans. By increasing the brain's capacity for learning and adaptation, psychedelics may have played a role in the rapid cognitive evolution observed in our ancestors. Beyond their effects on individual cognition, psychedelics have long held cultural and spiritual significance. Indigenous cultures have used psychedelics in rituals and ceremonies for centuries, attributing profound transformative experiences and spiritual insights to their use. These experiences may have shaped the collective consciousness of early human communities, fostering a sense of interconnectedness and promoting social cohesion. While the stoned ape theory offers a unique perspective on the evolution of human consciousness, it is essential to consider alternative explanations. Factors such as social interactions, cultural transmission, and genetic mutations likely played significant roles in the development of human cognition. Future research should aim to explore the complex interplay between psychedelics, genetics, 
cultural practices, and environmental factors to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the origins of human consciousness. In recent years, psychedelics have experienced a resurgence of interest and research. Scientists are investigating their potential therapeutic benefits for mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, and PTSD. The therapeutic use of psychedelics under controlled settings has shown promising results in alleviating symptoms and promoting emotional healing. The growing interest in psychedelics has been fueled, in part, by prominent figures such as Joe Rogan, who has openly discussed his personal experiences with psychedelics on his podcast. Rogan's advocacy has contributed to a broader cultural conversation about the potential benefits and risks of psychedelic substances. As public attitudes towards psychedelics evolve, so does the scientific exploration of their therapeutic potential. While the stoned ape theory has intrigued many with its unique perspective on human consciousness, it remains a subject of controversy within the scientific community. To assess its validity, we must delve into the ways modern science is shedding light on this theory. Contemporary anthropology offers tools to examine the lifestyles and diets of our early ancestors. Researchers can analyze ancient artifacts and remnants to gain insights into the dietary habits and environmental conditions of early humans. This data can help determine if the consumption of psychedelics, such as psilocybin mushrooms, was plausible in their diets. Genetic research allows scientists to trace the evolution of specific genes associated with cognitive functions. By examining genetic changes in our ancestors, researchers can investigate whether the use of psychedelics had any discernible impact on our genetic makeup over time. This approach can provide clues about the theory's plausibility. Archaeological excavations may unearth evidence of psychedelic plant or fungal use among ancient human populations. Discovering remnants of these substances or the paraphernalia used in their consumption could bolster the stoned ape theory's credibility. Comparative psychology involves studying the behavior of various animal species to gain insights into human evolution. Researchers can investigate whether the consumption of psychedelics or substances with similar effects has influenced the behavior or cognitive abilities of other primates or early humans. Advances in neuroscience enable researchers to examine how psychedelics affect the brain at a cellular and molecular level. By conducting neuroimaging studies and analyzing brain activity during psychedelic experiences, scientists can explore the theory's claims about enhanced perception and cognition. Ethnographic research among indigenous cultures that still use psychedelics in traditional rituals can provide valuable insights. Studying the cultural significance and effects of these substances may offer clues about their potential impact on early human societies. Controlled psychological studies with psychedelics can provide data on altered states of consciousness, creativity, and problem-solving abilities. Researchers can investigate whether the cognitive enhancements proposed by the stoned ape theory can be replicated in controlled experiments. It's important to recognize that human evolution is a multifaceted process influenced by numerous factors. While the stoned ape theory suggests that psychedelics played a pivotal role, it's just one element in a complex narrative. Other factors, such as climate changes, dietary adaptations, and social interactions, also contributed to the development of human consciousness. Even if the stoned ape theory is not conclusively proven, it has stimulated interest in the potential role of altered states of consciousness in human evolution. Whether or not early humans specifically ingested psychedelics, altered states induced by other means such as meditation, fasting, or rituals could have had a profound impact on their cognitive development. Beyond its connection to the stoned ape theory, Contemporary psychedelic research holds significant promise in various areas. Psychedelic-assisted therapy is showing promising results in treating mental health disorders. The potential to alleviate conditions such as depression, anxiety, and PTSD could revolutionize mental health care. Psychedelics have been reported to enhance creativity and problem-solving abilities. 
Further exploration of these effects may have applications in fields ranging from art to innovation. The study of altered states of consciousness can deepen our understanding of the nature of consciousness itself. This has philosophical and scientific implications that extend beyond human evolution. As research into psychedelics advances, future studies may shed light on the role of these substances in shaping human consciousness and the potential therapeutic benefits they offer. Whether the stoned ape theory is ultimately proven or not, it serves as a reminder of the profound impact of altered states of consciousness on our understanding of the human mind.